Battle Magazine, which has finished the time trials for professional team, the women of course. We've got Allison Jackson here in Folsom. Allison, your team won today. Bring us through the race. There was a lot of headwinds, there were some crashes. Um, yeah, no, no crashes for us, but the wind, yeah, a lot stronger today, but it is it is better for us. Um, our team is smooth and we did a lot of practice together. and. Um, so and we're we're just strong and steady and you know in that time trial pace. So the the wind was probably better for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like when you were a group, you run this a few times? This was a target for you to win this. Uh, do you feel satisfied with your time today? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, we want. I mean, there's there's things that we can improve on, which is nice to know that you know that we can grow even more as a team. But we, we won't nitpick too much because we, we won, and that's a satisfying feeling. Um, I noticed you're the only Canadian on an American team, and it, I could be wrong, but I thought it was a development team for the Olympics. It is. Yeah. Okay. Let's tell the audience your story, why you're on an American team. So when I started or thought about racing or going into pro racing, um, most of the racing is in um, the States. Uh, UCI races, there's many UCI races in the States and so for me the best option was to get on a team that would take me to these races and one thing about 2016 they're really interested in my development for the Olympics and so the things that I need to make that team they're really on board and making a schedule for me um, to do that so it, it's been a really great fit for me and also coming into the sport this is only my second year racing and for a development team, they've been able to or teach me a lot of skills and help me grow into professional racing, which has been really good. Um, some of us know that Barry Bonds is somewhat tied to this team, which is you know, the home run king of, of the world so far. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you ever ride? Does he ever go on rides with you, ladies? Yeah, and he how has. Is he? Last year, he had more time and he rode with us. And we interacted with him, and he always follows our stats in the bike racing. I mean, part, part of it is baseball is all about the stats, you know? And so he's very interested in all, all the times and how the athletes have been doing it, which is, which is neat to have someone who's, yeah, f helping fund the team. He's also really interested in sport. And so to be involved that way is pretty cool. Yes, baseball is the most stat heavy team. Uh, yes. Sport there is. Even back to you and your career here. You've got two more days left. Uh, your team obviously wants to keep one of you, if not Kristen, on the uh, his arm showing on the podium. What's yeah. your strategy in Santa Rosa and Sacramento? It, it's going to be a hard race, but I think now, I mean, we have a few options for winning the race and how all that can go. Um, so it'll be exciting. Yeah. And it will be. And you've got the. You don't have the wind tomorrow, and you don't have the rain. They actually have it <laughs> in, this, yeah. in Santa Rosa today. <laughs> you've avoided that one. Yeah. But congratulations on today. Thank you.